When you think of the hardest platinum trophy to earn, you may think of games like Dark Souls, Red Dead Redemption 2, or maybe even Elder Scrolls Online. The point is that there are many different games that come to mind, but the hardest one of 2020-2021, according to the public and PS5 trophies, is actually Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time. This platformer following the story left by the Insane Trilogy pushes players to their limits by not only upping the difficulty and mechanics of the later levels, but also forcing you to earn all six gems on each level three times. Once normally, once on the inverted mode, which we'll look into later, and one last time, except you need to get all six of those gems in one run of the level without dying a single time. And if you thought that was all, to get the prestigious platinum trophy, you also need to get all platinum time trial relics for each level, which is much harder compared to the insane trilogy where you only needed gold or better. In this series, I'll be documenting my frustration as I progress towards the platinum trophy. Please feel free to subscribe and join me on my journey of pain and suffering. I've platinumed all three games in the Insane Trilogy, so hopefully my experience will pay off. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so this is Rude Awakening, the very first level of Crash Bandicoot, and it acts as an introduction to the great... <laughs> Can I speak English? It acts as an introduction to the game. It's super simple. There are no hidden boxes anywhere. That's right. And the hidden gem is actually super obvious. So it's really just going to be a cakewalk. Basically, just don't die. And if you do die, then you're kind of a bot. And because I said that, I am most likely going to die. So after the rail grinding section, there's just a couple of boxes here. It's also important to be noted that on rail grinding sections, there's a few of them throughout the game, you only have one shot at getting those boxes some of the boxes you can just backtrack and grab them but for the boxes on rail grinding sections there's no way to go back so you got to get them on your first try and you know what i just noticed what the hell is that guy doing in the background over there oh my god he's kind of crazy Anyways, once you get here, this is where the hidden gem is. Once you crawl under this little hut, just jump up and you've gotten the hidden gem. So now we're coming across the bonus level. We're gonna have to do that. It's literally easier than the level itself. So there's only eight boxes. All of them are extremely obvious. If you miss one, then I don't know what to say. Like, get some glasses. So just like that, that's all eight boxes. Dunzo Kerspunzo. Now we can head back to the level and get the last remaining 21 boxes. Okay, so now you've made it to the wall climbing section and it's the hardest part of the level, but as the hardest part of the level, it's super easy. I hope you're getting the theme of just easy stuff. So once you make it to the wall climbing section here, there's just a couple of boxes. They're super not difficult to get. Once you get them all, you're pretty much at the end of the level now. You just got these three last boxes at the end here. Pro tip, before you go ahead and beat the level, wait for that TNT to ignite. And once you've done that, boom, 104 out of 104. And just like that, that's the insanely perfect relic. No problems. Look at that. Insanely perfect. I'm just too good at this game. Definitely not because it's level one. All right, everyone. So just like that, we're on to level two. So these first couple of levels are super easy to get the insanely perfect relics, which as I've mentioned, require you to get every single gem in one perfect run of the level. And at the beginning of the game, this is super duper easy. So while I try and get that relic on level two, which I've already failed. So while I try and get that relic, I'm going to talk about what is required to earn all six gems in a level. For starters, there are three gems associated with the Wumpa Fruit, which are all these floating things right here. So to get all three, all you need to do is collect at least 80% of the total Wumpa fruit on each level and you will get all three. That's simple. And then as obvious as it is, there's another gem for getting every single box. So I can't miss a single one. And then, of course, you can't forget the hidden gems. Each level has one hidden gem for you to find. And for the insanely perfect relics, it's actually not required of you to get it. So you can get this hidden gem in its own separate run. But because I am crazy, I'm going to try and do all six of them in one shot. And I said there were six, so there's one more for me to talk about. Now, you unlock this last gem by just completing a level with three deaths or less. But because we'll be going for the insanely perfect relic, I can't die once. So that one is obviously going to be very simple. Or technically, it's actually going to be the hardest one out of all of them. But if I get the insanely perfect relic, then that means I haven't died once, so I should be fine. Just about gotten all the 
boxes on this bonus level. We just had to wait for that TNT to explode. And now we can go right back. We're just about to meet Lanny Loli for the first time. And I just died. Can we not talk about it? Okay, everyone. So we're back to where we just died. Let's not talk about how I died here. I had to restart the entire level because that's what you got to do for the insanely perfect relic. And now how about we just don't die this time? So it's actually a little bit tedious to get these boxes here. I don't like it at all. I get really nervous on these platforms thinking I don't have enough time before they disappear. But I think I'll be okay. Hopefully I just don't mess this up but I'm doing pretty well, and I died. I'm doing pretty well. Okay, I finally got all the boxes. Now, if you're curious, this is also where you get the red colored gem, and I'm not gonna show you how to do that. I already have it. It doesn't really matter. I mean, it does, but yeah. So now we've just met Lanny Loli, the mask of like, I don't know. It just phases stuff in and out of reality, basically. And now we have this big mad guy chasing me, so we're gonna have to run. It's not super important for me to get all the boxes here because the guy chasing me is actually gonna destroy him. And the hidden gem is right there if you were curious, so super easy to get. Other than that, you just want to run. Don't, don't die. There's a checkpoint here, so we're safe for now. But not for long, because guess who's back? If that's right, it's this guy right here. But I can go a lot faster because I have the triple spin ability. So if you thought we were done, guess what? We're not done because the big blue guy is here to say hello one more time. But this is only level two, so it's super duper easy. Got a bunch of boxes here, but he'll destroy most of them for us. See that box back there? Guess what? He destroyed it for us. And look at that. We got the gem right there for destroying all the boxes. Simple as that. Now, if we look, I should have the insane perfect relic took me a couple of tries but look at that all six gems and the insanely perfect relic earned we are at two out of 38 i believe there's still a ways to go all right so already in level three toys for bob the developers for crash 4 are already introducing a new mechanic a new mask this right here is lani loli and is the mask that phases stuff in and out of time and we will be able to control him so if i just come over here and grab him and i press a button as you can see things are appearing and disappearing Appearing. So guess what? We're gonna have to face stuff in and out of reality to get all the boxes. So there's a couple of secret boxes in this level and a couple of tricky ones as well like that one. But you know, it's not too bad. We just gotta keep using the mask and just not fail our jumps and we will be good. The thing we really just have to look out for are the sand sharks which are right here in front of me. Hey guys, what's going on? All right, so right here is our first hidden box. It's kind of hard because it's right out of our field of view, but if I jump up a bit like that, you actually still can't see it. How crazy. So to get it, all I have to do is jump up here, double jump, hit it, and then come back down, and we've gotten it. All right, so we're about to get onto the grinding section of a real grind, and we have to be very careful on this one because if we miss a box, there is no going back without dying. So hopefully I can get this first try. All right, here we go. We gotta be careful. So we got a box here and another box there this grinding section introduces uh lighting like this like hanging from the rail i should be good because this is still not too difficult i almost missed that box there we don't talk about it and there we go the first grinding section of the level is actually done I can't forget to get this box all the way up top there. That one is a little bit tricky. It's not too bad, but if you're not looking for it, then you might miss it. And of course, this brings us to our next rail grinding section. I hope I can get all the boxes again. So we got one right here off the start, easy grab. And now we can transition between these rails to grab the other boxes. Now already I see another one here. So now here we gotta hang out to the side to hit these other boxes and I missed one. All right, everyone, so I'm back at the rail grinding section. Hopefully, I won't mess up like I did last time and get this on my second try. Look at this. So far, it's a cakewalk. It's an absolute cakewalk. How did I miss it again? I missed the same one again. I'm actually going to be mad. I'm actually honestly going to be mad if I miss that box again. There we go. I actually managed to get it. Okay, and we've finished the second rail grinding section, and that's actually the last one. But now that we're here at this checkpoint by the bonus level, it's actually time for our first super secret box, and uh, it's actually right there at the bottom left corner, hidden in this tire. Toys for Bob, you guys were sneaky with that one. Okay, so now we're onto the bonus level. Really not much to see here. Basically, it's a bunch of TNT. So now we just gotta get all the TNT, all the boxes. If we actually 
rely on bonus levels, it actually doesn't count as a death in the actual level, so I don't have to worry too much about doing something like that. Finally, we just have this last box here to get, and somehow I missed another one. Oh, we had a little TNT box hiding back here. All right, we got it. It's no problem. Okay, now after you do that, Toys for Bob was sneaky again, and at the start, when I first entered the bonus level, the bonus level pad was over this tire here, and the secret box I got was in that tire. Once you beat the bonus level, though, the platform moves to this tire and exposes this one, which has yet another hidden box inside of it. And then we have a secret path to my left here, which has a bunch of secret boxes, so you don't want to miss that. So we got a bunch of boxes here that you just cannot miss. So just grab those, continue on with the level, don't get hit by this guy's bombs, that would just suck. Okay, so we've made it to the last and final checkpoint. Now here is where Toys for Bob gets a little bit sneaky again. You want to bounce on this, jump up, and then bounce on this. And as you can see at the top right, right there, you want to jump over here and get this secret box up top. Now, of course, once more Toys for Bob gets sneaky in this level, how many times are they going to do it? I don't know. But if you come over here and jump up top, you got two more boxes. But what's even sneakier is that if you jump on the top box and jump really high, you can find the hidden gem hidden away up here. Make sure to hit the green box here to destroy all the nitro crates, and guess what? We did it. Insanely perfect relic, here I come. I want to see it. Look at that. All six gems. We got the skin. Insanely perfect run. Let's go go. All right, everybody, that's going to be the end of today's episode. In the next episode, we're going to be tackling Crash Compactor, Hit the Road, and Truck Stop. So make sure to stay tuned for those insanely perfect relics. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you all very soon. Later.